The Fish 200 series is the original British designed safety knife. The unique patented valley guides the material being cut along the mouth blade. As the valley deepens, the pressure onto the blade is increased, making the cutting action more effective. Use the mouth blade to cut banding, shrink wrap, bubble wrap, netting, polythene and other similar materials. Make sure that the mouth is pointing upwards or outwards when in use. You will usually find it easier to cut banding straps at a 45 degree angle. The Fish 200 also has a guarded hook blade. Use this blade to cut tape and cable ties. The knife should be used at a 90 degree angle when using the hook blade. To change the blades in the Fish 200, remove the hook blade cover, undo the two brass screws and separate the two knife halves using a screwdriver in the lever point above the hook blade. Both the straight and hook blades can then either be reversed or replaced. Clip the two knife halves together and replace the brass screws and hook cover. The 600 series is a disposable version of the fish design. Available with a standard polypropylene body and carbon steel, or stainless steel blades, or with a metal detectable plastic body and stainless steel blades. Use the mouth blade to cut banding, shrink wrap, polythene, netting, and other similar materials. Make sure that the mouth is pointing upwards or outwards when in use. You will usually find it easier to cut banding straps at a 45 degree angle. Use the hook blade to cut tape, cable ties and vacuum sealed polythene. The Big Fish is a heavy duty version of the fish design. Available with 6mm, 8mm or 9mm mouth sizes. Use the mouth blade to cut rope, thick polythene, heavy duty banding, shrink wrap, bubble wrap and paper sacks. Make sure that the mouth is pointing upwards or outwards when in use. Use the optional hook blade to cut tape, single ply cardboard and cable ties. The knife should be used at a 90 degree angle when using the hook blade. To change the blades on the big fish knife, turn the large locking screw two full turns. Slide the top half of the knife along in the direction of the arrow. Turn the locking screw back down into the knife to separate the two halves. Tip the blades out of the knife and either reverse or replace them. 
the straight blade must go back in front end first. Ensure that blades are properly located in their pocket and then replace the top half of the knife and slide forward from the tail end. Turn the locking screw two full turns. If the two knife body halves do not slide together easily, check to see that the blades are seated properly. The Boxer 700 series safety knife is an innovative twin blade box cutter. The hook blade and vary guards provide protection for the user from the straight blade, reducing the risk of injury. Pierce into cardboard with the hook blade and cut with the straight blade. Use the knife at the correct angle. The face of the knife must run flat along the cardboard being cut. Banding straps should be cut at an angle. The back of the hook blade can be used as a tape cutter. To change the blades, turn the release button to the open position so that it pops up. Separate the two knife halves by holding the bottom half with the forefinger and pushing the top half with the thumb. Reverse or replace the blades and slide the two knife halves back together. Push the release button back into the knife and then turn it back to the closed position. The Boxer 800 Lock and Limit Safety Knife is a single blade box cutter with automatic locking guards and depth of cut control. Push the lever on top of the knife forward to allow the guards to retract when cutting. Once the blade is engaged, release the lever and the guards will automatically lock when the cut is finished. Flick, clear, cut. With all three depth control switches back, the maximum 10 mm depth of cut is achieved. With the green switches forward, the depth of cut is 6 mm. With the green and amber switches forward, the depth of cut is 2 mm. For safe storage, push the red depth control switches forward on both sides. This will lock the guards even if the lever is pushed forwards. Use the knife at the correct angle. The face of the knife must run flat along the cardboard being cut. Lock the top guard by pushing the red switch forward on one side only to cut tops from boxes. Don't forget to let the lever clear so that the bottom guard still locks at the end of the cut. Banding straps should be cut at an angle. Don't forget, flick, Clear, cut. To change the blades, turn the release button to the open position so that it pops up. Separate the two knife halves by holding the bottom half with the forefinger and pushing the top half with the thumb. Reverse or replace the blade and slide the two knife halves back together. Push the release button back into the knife and then turn it back to the closed position. The Penguin Safety Opener is a lightweight disposable enclosed blade knife with two cutting edges. Available with a standard polypropylene body and carbon steel, or stainless steel blades, or with a metal detectable plastic body and stainless steel blades. Ideal for opening bags and sacks, but can also be used to cut shrink wrap, bubble wrap, polythene, banding, and other similar materials. When cutting the tops off polythene bags, use the nose to pierce and then cut. If you get really proficient, you can get different blades cutting each side of the bag. The Fish 200, Fish 600, 
and big fish knives are all extremely effective rescue cutters. Seat belts and clothing can be cut with minimal risk of causing further injuries to the casualty. The Penguin 900 series is a heavy duty disposable safety knife with a design that incorporates several innovative new features. An enclosed blade with two entries to the cutting edge gives a longer blade life and a wide target area. This is beneficial in fast moving production areas where polythene or paper sacks are opened. Once materials are cut, the opposing slopes on the exit side of the blade create a plough effect that assists the cutting action. This is especially effective when cutting cardboard. The handle is designed to prevent the hand from coming into contact with the object being cut. It is important to remember to hold the knife at the correct angle when cutting. The blade and not the body of the knife should be in contact with the material. Use your spare hand to create some tension in shrink wrap on pallets. The tape cutter is positioned at the base of the handle, allowing it to be used without changing the grip on the knife. The Penguin 900 series is available with standard polypropylene body and carbon steel blade, or with a metal detectable plastic body and stainless steel blades. This knife is ideal for opening bags and sacks, but can also be used to cut shrink wrap, bubble wrap, polythene, banding, and tape on boxes. The Boxer 800S is the standard version of the Boxer 800 series. The single straight blade is protected with automatic locking guards. Push the lever on top of the knife forward to allow the guards to retract when cutting. Once the blade is engaged, release the lever and the guards will automatically lock when the cut is finished. Flick, clear, cut. Use the knife at the correct angle. The face of the knife must run flat along the cardboard being cut. Banding straps should be cut at an angle. Don't forget, flick, clear, cut. To change the blades, turn the release button to the open position so that it pops up. Separate the two knife halves by holding the bottom half with the forefinger and pushing the top half with the thumb. Reverse or replace the blade and slide the two knife halves back together. Push the release button back into the knife and then turn it back to the closed position. The Safety Trim 500 is a lightweight, versatile trimming knife for removing flashing from molded plastic parts. The guards on the blade allow a variety of cutting positions. The safety trim can be used with a push or pull action and with the right or left hand. Ensure that the blade and not the plastic guard are in contact with the surface being trimmed. To change the blade, press down on the release button on the handle and pull the blade out. Replacement blades simply click into place.